Jesus. What a game I just seen at Patodri. It has finished. Aberdeen 2, <laughs> Rangers 3. And, and what a game. What a game. What a game. What a game. I can't even describe this game. But yes, we all know with, Aberdeen, with the rivalry with Aberdeen and Rangers. And I told this man here it would be a good game. And it proved to be. And it proved. And yes. And yes. Yes. Right, I'm going to get straight into my thoughts. What a game. What a game from both teams. But in my honest opinion, in my honest, honesty opinion, Rangers fans, you might, you might disagree here, but I generally do think Aberdeen were the better team tonight. They were the better. Ever since when Fashion Sakala scored in the 12th minute, Aberdeen were the better team. Obviously, they had a few chances before... Wow. Last 15, Rangers were... Yeah, but Aberdeen dominant. were defended. Aberdeen defended well, yeah, though. Yeah, but dominant, yeah, but dominant, on, on, dominant on the ball. But, like, I mean, like, based on, like, creating chances-wise, Aberdeen were the better team. <laughs> Rangers oh. hadn't got to go in. But I just, I just think... I just think... I just think, for me, personally, Aberdeen just topped it off. And they at least deserved... They deserve to draw at, lo at least, or let alone win the game. Win the game. However, though, however, obviously, Duke, Duke, Duke was an, what, scored an absolute brilliant free kick. And obviously, Leighton Clarkson was the man who gave Aberdeen the lead. And of course, and of course, when Rangers were losing in injury time, enter Mr. Oh, come on. Yeah, we enter Mr. Scott Arfield. Whenever Rangers needed him the most, of course, he is the man to get you goals, to give you the goals in big games like that. He done it for Burn. He done it in the East Lancashire derby a few times with for Burnley for, throughout his time at Burnley, and obviously he's done it again in this fixture. And boy, does he love scoring at Patodri. And yes, and yes. First, first full-time reaction related to Scott, the SPL for ages. But yeah, um, my man of the match, even though he came off in the 63rd minute, but I'm going to give it to Leighton Clarkson because I think he was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> brilliant today. Com so confident on the ball. And honestly, right, this was a much better Aberdeen performance than it was in the game against Celtic last week on Saturday. But yeah... But yeah, old man, who are we giving the man a match for? Leighton Clarkson? Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Um, I'm going to... Hope you guys do enjoy this video anyway. Smash the like, subscribe, get notifications on. If there's, Aber is there, if there's any Aberdeen, Rangers or Celtic fans watching this video, drop it in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the game? And yes. Rangers. If Rangers would have lost... Celtic could have gone, had the opportunity to go 12 points clear at the top of the table and Aberdeen would have only gone 8 points behind Rangers. And that's also big. And this result is also big for Livingston, Hearts and St. Johnston. Because Hearts and St. Johnston, Hearts hit, I think, yes, Hearts and St. Johnston are just one point off Aberdeen with Livingston sitting in sixth with two are two points behind. Um, and if Hearts do beat Dundee United next week on, on Saturday, and if, and if St. Johnston and Aberdeen all slip up, Hearts can go third. Yeah, or, or if Aberdeen slip up, whatever. Hearts could go into third place in the Scottish Premiership. Rangers are only six points behind. So they can cut the gap just to three points. Of Celtic, if they beat Ross County on Friday night at Dingwall. However, though, Ross County, you know, who knows? They could provide a few upsets. Who knows? But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like, subscribe, get notifications on. Thank you for watching, and love, peace, and techers.